everyone and welcome back to another video and in today's video uh we will be i will be telling you some bad news um so i might have mentioned this in an earlier video but one of the chickens uh died by a hawk so basically it was the yellow blind chicken. Uh, she was, we didn't see it, but she was picked up by a hawk and she was killed. And we saw the hawk eating her and that's how we found out that it was a hawk that killed her. So over there, I'm not gonna show you, the, I'm not gonna show you her. So it happened about a week or two ago, but that pile of pine needles and sticks over there is where she is. Um, so we put that over her so the hawk wouldn't be able to eat her because uh, we don't want the hawk to eat her. Um, but yeah, she has unfortunately passed away. So we only have five chickens. Um, but yeah, Life always comes to an end at some point, um, but hers was unfortunately early, um, but we haven't really seen very many hawks, I mean, they, uh, they sometimes come and land on the fence up there, or the fence around the chicken coop. We, we scare them off, and we decided that if the hawk, if there's one hawk that cut, that keeps getting near the chicken coop too many times, that we will, um, kill it, because obviously it's going to kill a chicken at some point, like, but if it's the same hawk constantly going over to the chicken coop, uh, multiple times an hour, then we're uh, Walter! What are you doing? Okay, we've been setting up a rat trap under here, so... What are you eating? Get out! Get out of the gorge. We're gonna find out what he was eating. Because as you could see, he was licking his lips. So obviously, he was eating something. So I got a flashlight here. Okay, the trap is still open. Didn't catch something tonight, but. What was he, what was he doing? I don't know, but. Um, it's more bad news. It's not as bad as the chicken getting eaten by a hawk. No, you're not coming in. But, oh wow. It perfectly landed in that tiny shovel. Okay, but we are rat infested inside the house. More specifically inside the garage. And we are guessing that they could go in the basement because we tried to, since, since they're now uh, in the chicken coop in our neighbor's yard, up here throughout the ivy, starting to infest in the garden and now infested in the garage, we decided to try to use smoke. And it's, it will, uh, yeah, we tried to use smoke to get him out, but we found out that some of the smoke was starting to go down into the basement. Just a little bit, like so you could smell it, just a tiny bit, but not see it. So that means they have gotten into the basement. They are also in the walls. I don't know if you can see, but there's a hole back there, and they chewed it more. So that means they're in the walls as well. They also found a way, they also chewed through the garage door, but we blocked it with a piece of wood. 
and also my mom a few nights ago, no sorry, a few weeks ago, uh, she opened this to get some toilet paper, uh, either toilet paper or paper towels, and um, a rat sprinted out of there, so, I'll, and uh, there was also a giant bag of rice in there, and so it was eating the rice, let me move the rice out, but you know, there might be rats in here, there most likely are, but yeah, we are extremely rat infested now, for all we know, there could be inside, um, But yeah, uh, I think that's all of the bad news. Um, oh yeah, here's some good news. Um, the good news is that eventually, I don't know, today maybe, oh wow, that's dark. I don't know, today, maybe tomorrow, we are going to, uh, we are going to the, um, First of all, we're going to go to three different pet stores. The Tropical Fish Store to get more green tiger barbs because there are only two and they've started trying to kill each other. So we put a little bait tank inside Jaden's koi fish tank. And I got the green tiger barb by a net and put it in the bait tank and put the lid on. And on the lid, there's a big, um, there's a relatively big, uh, dude, that's really bright. There's a relatively big uh like rectangular hole and so we found a tub that is um a square and we put a big rock in it a rock that was inside the koi fish uh tank and so that made it so there is a hole so uh the water that comes out of the filter well obviously the water that comes out of the filter makes bubbles that oxygen that makes it so the water is oxygenated I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it but um yeah so that makes it so the koi fish and the tiger barbs can breathe but we put the beta tank directly under the flow of the water so that o little oxygen bubbles will go inside and then come out the top so that means the green tiger barbs are able to breathe the one green tiger barb we put in there and the other green tiger barb, oh, she's being a side dog. But the other green tiger barb is um, also just in the tank. We tried putting the other green tiger barb in my tank, like the non-aggressive one that was being bullied. But um, then it started biting my fish's tail. Uh, like the orange rainbow fish. I don't get why it's called an orange rainbow fish, because orange and rainbow are two different colors. Oh. And this crunching. Sometimes Layla has these little psycho runs where she'll sprint everywhere. Like, last night she went from over here and she sprinted over here, up the hill, all the way to the side and ran up that tree and then I went up there to look to see if she was really high up in the tree and then she sprinted down and came over here and went into the garage um but yeah uh the the green tiger barb started biting my fish um like the back of their tails so my uh orange rainbow fish had uh part of its tail missing like the bottom tail fin uh, missing. Same with both of those shark fish. I don't know what they're called, but, um, yeah, so we moved it back, and that's when we came up with the beta tank idea, and now it worked. But, uh, feeding it's a little bit of a problem. I mean, not feeding it, but having the other fish try to eat the food that's put inside the beta tank. But this is what I do. I get a normal pinch of food, and drop it in so the koi fish and the other green tiger barbs start eating and then I get a tiny tiny pinch and put it inside the beta tank and so after the koi fish eat they
put rocks in their mouth to help them digest their food. Uh, but they also see that there is fish food inside the beta tank. So sometimes they get stuck in there. Um, and sometimes the green tiger barb gets out. Because we've been doing this for like a week now. The green, or the beta thing. Or sorry, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure a week. But, um, yeah. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. There's, there's much more good news about going to the three pet stores thing. That's what we would do at the tropical fish store. Then we would go to Western Pet Supply, get food for my snake. Um, then we'd go to like PetSmart or Pet Co, whatever, whatever, whatever the pet stores are called. And then, give me a second. I'm gonna put this for Toby. Wow, that was a tiny kick. I kicked the top. I didn't kick. I didn't kick head on. I just barely kicked the top. But we'll go to Petco, PetSmart, whatever the pet stores are called, and buy my snake a new tank, a new enclosure, terrarium, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, it's going to be much bigger. It's going to be much better. She will have much more space because she likes slithering around. Um, we will arrange it differently than her enclosure right now. Um, and we will get new bedding for her. Uh, because for the bedding that... Why does it keep getting brighter and dark, darker? Okay, but for the stuff that we're using for her tank, like the, the paper, it is really bad it gets like if she goes poop then you have to take out a giant handful um because it's also wet so we're gonna get a new bedding uh that is safe for her and we're also we might get some new things for her enclosure as well while we're over there like a new tree that she could climb on because hers is a little shaky um, but yeah, we're basically going to just get her a new home, and but plugging it in will be kind of hard. We also need to get her new lights, so we'll get that at Western Pet Supply, like a new daylight and night light, maybe another extra. Um, but yeah. See if there's a rat. Okay, there wasn't a rat. Usually, if you hit the back of the chicken coop once, or actually always, if there's a rat in there, and you hit the back of the chicken coop once, all the rats that were just in there will run out. Um, but yeah, that's all the news. Good news, bad news, or I guess bad news was first, so bad news, good news. Um. I hope you enjoyed the video. After this video, I'm going to feed the chickens and show you uh, feeding the chickens. We'll just feed them some plants. But I hope you enjoyed. Remember to comment, share my channel, subscribe. For a second, I thought she was a chicken, and I was like, how's a chicken out right now? But comment, share, subscribe, uh, like, um, hit the notification bell while you're at it, and I will see you later. Goodbye.